Yo, what is up you guys? Today I will be doing a like car showcase video of all my cars that I have so far. I'm still missing a few, but I'm, I'll record the first garage first and the second one, like I just record them at different times. They'll be, they'll be up at the same time, for sure. Yeah, anyway, let's get started with it. So, this floor is pretty much just all my allergies. Now, this one here is like a work in progress still. Not 100% complete. There's a different kind of blue that I want to it. I want like a light but dark color. I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to do right now is trying to get it with my crew color. Which, if you look at it through my Elgato, it, it looks exactly like what I want, but if you look at it through game, it's just, it's not what I want. So, yeah. And then we got this one, which is just like a nice looking purple one. Which is actually pretty cool. And then I got a blue one, exactly the same over there, just with different wheels and all that. And then I got my nice drift missile version, which is pretty much my main car at the moment. Because, yeah. Well, if, if it could actually drift, then, oh, yeah, I, I would use that all the time. But, you know, Rockstar don't really want drifting in this game. Don't understand why. Doesn't do any harm. And then we got this, like, nice, normal, just blue one. Which was actually pretty cool. I, I really like it. I use it sometimes as well. And then we got the blue one, like I was explaining just before. And then we got Paul Walker's Skyline. It doesn't really look 100% like it. This is, like... The most identical you're going to get to looking like it. But there's nothing else you can really change to make to make it look better, really. All right, now we've got the second floor. Now what we got here is the Reaper. It's just like a nice looking normal red Reaper. I I quite like this car. Don't use it much, but it's good for showrooming. Re it really depends where you're using it, though. Then we got the Persian GP1, which is that new car. This is probably like the best you're going to get to looking good, really. There's still a few other things you can do to make it look good, but this is the best i found. Then we got the Rustin, which is also a new one. Probably looking as best as it can once again, like this car. I really don't know what other colours would look good, unless it's like a nice crew colour or something like that. But yeah. Then we got just a nice looking blue drift tamper. I, 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 quite like this, I quite like this car. It's just like a Saxon blue. It looks really cool. It looks really cool on any car. Look, the colour And yeah, that's cool pretty much all for this video. Really. Remember to yeah, like, subscribe, the, comment down below what you'd like me to do for future videos. And, and, and if you think of anything else like this, definitely one. comment that down below and Which. I'll do that. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys in the next made one. This because Peace. of something in the um, new update. Where with the special vehicle one. There's like a car that looked exactly like this and I like the look of it, but yeah. And then we got the Tyrus, which oh this car looks awesome. I really, really like this. It doesn't look that good out on street. Well not as good as it does in here. It looks Sick in here, but it doesn't look as good outside. I, I still really, really like this car though. Then we got like an aluminium and yellow ETR1. Once again, I quite like this car too. The colours, I don't know, it, it ju the colours just go really, really well with it. I used to have like a crew colour, like aqua blue on it, but changed it to that. I reckon that looks a lot better. Alright. Then we got the eight eleven, just like a just a crew color with a matte black, I believe, on top. Yeah, matte black. I, I quite like that car too. I know I'm saying I quite like a lot of cars lately, but yeah. All right, this one here is the like another Saxon blue RE seven B, which quite. Looks quite cool. Probably need to change. Oh, I actually, I reckon tires are actually alright. I don't know about it saying atomic on it though. Might change that. I don't know. We'll see. We just got normal, just like reddish, orangey T20. 
which I believe the same tyres as the other one over there. A uh, little bit different. Nearly the same though. Alright, then we just got like a, a really, really cool, like, blue slam van. Like, this is like my drift slam van, really. I, I, I really, really like this car. But once again, I'm saying I like every car in here, really. But, <laughs> alright, then we got a Saxon blue Italia GTB custom. Nearly forgot the name of that pretty close to it. Then we just got a like midnight red Veltzer. Which I'm supposed to be having a crew plate. Well, I'm supposed to be having a crew plate on like all my cars really but it's like I don't know it's glitched and it's not on there for many of my cars really. And last car for this garage is my pink and purple FMJ. Which I really, really like this car. Once again, I got inspired off of the new vehicle warehouse update to make this. Just like my, T uh, my Zentorno down there. Which looks awesome. Cost me quite a bit, but I reckon it was worth it. I, I do use it quite a bit, but not too much. Now, the only reason you don't see the Dukes is because for some reason I can't buy it. If I could use the Dukes, that would definitely be the first car. I, I would have placed that right here, and I would have gotten rid of this car easy. Well, that, that car is like awesome, but I'd still really, really like the Dukes. Alright, so let's go to Garage 2. Alright, now we're at Garage 2. This garage is, like, mixed with a lot of my favourite cars, like... I don't know, this ain't my best garage. I would probably say my first garage was best, but this the, this one's got some nice cars in it too. Alright, so to start off with, we've got the Nero Custom, which is looking pretty nice. I can probably improve on that. I might. It ain't really showroom worthy, I'd say, really. Might be street car. Oh, sorry. Definitely not street car worthy. Um, race car worthy, I mean, like if you go and race it. Alright, next up we got like a midnight purple, no, a, a, I think it might have been a bright purple, a midnight purple, something like that, which is a Tempesta with a pearlescent, pearlescent pink, I believe, or something like that, which is really looking nice. I, I use this car a lot in racing, in yeah, with stunt races. Alright, and then we got to the Spectre Custom. Which, I, I only just pulled this car out of a garage, so I really haven't done anything on this car since the day it came out. Alright, now we've got the Retro Custom um, uh, Comet, which is like in, like, drift form. Like, um, I think it's the RWB Porsche, something like that. I, I've just, I've totally forgotten what what I named it, or what it, what I made it off of. Alright, and then we've got just a, like, normal red banshee, which is look, looking alright. Not, not, not best, but it's alright. Alright, and then we got another, like, Paul Walker Skyline, or, not Skyline, but, yeah. Nissan GDR. Alright. We'll go up to the second floor now. Which, on this floor, I have the Coquette starting off. Which is just blue. I couldn't really find anything else to place here, so that that's why that car's here. Probably going to change it up. Might make it a red later on or something. I'm not too sure right now. Alright, next we got the Too Fast, Too Furious, like, yellow... Um, uh, was it a Mitsubishi? Might have been. Which is the one that Paul Walker drives. Off Too Fast and Furious, like I said. And then next we got a Sentinel, which I just found on the street. So, really, I don't know what colour this is, but I quite like it. I, I really like this. It looks better going through my TV, 
but through through El Gato, it just looks a lot darker. But in this, it's like a really really bright. But yeah. All right. Next, we got the Saber Turbo Custom. Well, I don't think it's called Saber Turbo Custom. It's called Saber Turbo, but yeah. So this is like just like a bright color. I think I, I think I found this car. Like, I don't. Well, I mean, like I found it on the street with that color, but it was just a normal saber tooth. And then I just upgraded it. So to be honest with this, I really do not know what cr uh, what color that is, but I really like it. It's like a pink lady apple color. Well, that's what it reminds me of. Right, then we got my just white and red armored Karuma. To be honest with you, I really have no clue why that's here. I I really don't. Alright, next we got the Omnus. Looking pretty good. Might need to improve on tires, I reckon. But other than that, I reckon it's looking alright. Alright, now we got the Baller. Might need uh Nah, I reckon this car's actually looking quite nice. I think upstairs I've got a few more luxury cars as well, or I think I've got one. Or maybe it's in my third garage. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do a third garage. I might, might not. If it's after this, that's good. If it's not, then I don't know. Alright, now we've got this Fudo, which I've had f since 360, which just says Cool Story Bro on the front, which is my... Korean emblem, which is pretty funny. <laughs> I quite like it. Might need might need to change the tires. I'm, I'm I'm thinking of it. All right, now we've got the Valilia. I'm I'm pretty surprised I haven't forgotten any of the names of any cars here. Although I do play GDI quite a lot, so yeah. Definitely reckon I need to improve on that. Might be able to make it like a nice red, like a bright red. New tyres as well. Looking alright for now. Now we've got the Nightshade. Like, this car looks sick. I, I really, really like the tyres. The tyres definitely suit this. Really like it. The car might not be fast, but it's pretty good. I'd use it for drag racing if they ever bought drag racing into the game. Like, with like a manual clutching thing. Alright, now we've got the Audi R8, which in this, I believe, is called... Uh, hold on, hold on, do I remember? Um, no, I do not remember. I don't know how. The Obey. Oh. I, I was just going to call it the, nine, the 9F, but I thought it had an actual specific name. Okay. Alright, now we've got the Sultan, which, looking alright, might need to change it up a bit, but for now, I reckon that's looking pretty good. Alright, now we've got another Retro Custom, Elegy, oh, no, that's not an Elegy, that is not an Elegy, the <laughs> Comet, I mean, look, looking alright, might make another one, I don't know. Alright, now we've got... The oh, do I remember? No, I don't. The Bestia. I always forget that one. That's that's pretty much the only car in the game I keep forgetting. The Bestia, Bestia GTS. Anyway, it's got like a nice red. Tires are actually all right. I might actually stay with those tires. I might change them later on. Don't know. Alright, that's all for this garage. Now, hopefully you get to see a garage 3 after this. Alright, yeah, it turns out there is a garage 3. The only thing is, there's re I'm really not going to be showing many cars in this one, because this one, this garage here is, like, extremely bad. The only ca good car here, really, on this floor, is the Roosevelt. I quite like this one. Everything else on this floor is just... Eh. I, d I really don't know what normal energy is doing there. But... <laughs> Alright, then next we've got the blade. It's alright. Not not best. Looking better through Elgato. Than in actual game. Which is pretty cool. 
All right, now we've got the Albany Manana. Really don't know why that's here. N not even going to show that in this video. Frankenstein, nah. The Windsor Diamond. Um, yeah, it's like a nice luxury car, I'd say. Pretty nice. And we've got a Aluminium Sultan RS. Pretty good. Uh, not showcasing that one. This one, yeah, I may as well. Not going to be a full... I don't, I wouldn't really say this is a showcase car, but it's alright. Anyway, we've got the Slam Fan Custom. Looking alright. And we got the Phoenix. I wasn't really going to do this one, but it is a, it is really off of a Fast and Furious movie, so hey. Which, this one is like Dom's Daytona. It's alright. Like, closest you're going to get to it. Alright, third floor, I'm quite sure that's just full of off-road vehicles. Which, I didn't get to customise them all. So, sorry about that. The The main car I wanted to customise here was going to be the trophy truck. But I didn't get to, so... Yeah. Alright, so first off, we got the Insurgent. Alright, not really a showcase car, but it's alright. Rumpo Custom, I don't know why that's here. Oh, yeah, looking a bit better now. Slam van. That's uh, it's not. That is not a slam van. <laughs> um, a Sand King, which I've got two of. There's a red and black one, and there's like a blue one. And then we've got a crew coloured trophy truck, which is all right. And at last we have the contender. Oh, second to last we have the contender, which is the crew colour blue, exactly the same as the trophy truck. And then, now, last, we have the matte black dubster. I quite like this car. This is, like, something that I'd cruise with, like, with friends off-road, I reckon. Or, actually, I don't really know what I'd do with it. But, it's pretty cool. But, yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. If you have any other vehicles that you would like me to add in here or would suggest for me to customize or something like that comment that down below maybe maybe if you have like uploaded a photo of it online or had a made a youtube video with it in or something like that you can comment a link and i'll go have a look and maybe, maybe if you're lucky enough, I might go make that car and include it in maybe a Showcase 3. Well, no, sorry, a Showcase 2 video, which will probably only just be one garage. Like, a lot, really a lot shorter, but with better cars, I reckon. But, I, I reckon all these cars are good, really, except for everything in Garage 3. I, I mainly need Garage 3, because I, I really don't even know. I really don't have any cars for Garage 3. I just can't find anything else to add, really. Like, the only thing I could have thought to do with it is just, like, mix the cars up with other cars in here and all that. So, like, grab some cars from Garage 3 and put them in here. So then it looks like all evened out, but I didn't really want to do that. Uh, if you do know, if also if you do know any colour I should add to this car, comment that down below, because I, I really do need help with creating this car. What I'm looking for is like a light but dark blue, because I found, I found a car that looks really cool on GDI Forums, which, we, which was a crew colour, I believe, but, I don't know, it pretty much looks like what it does in the Elgato, but... No, I want like a really light one. If you can find out what crew colour this is through the Elgato, like what you can see now, let me know if you can. Because it's a lot darker on my TV screen, but a lot lighter through my Elgato. So it, it looks perfect through my Elgato. Which is exactly what I want. It looks sick. But yeah. Anyway, also if you do want to know what um, customizations I've put on for a few cars, comment that down below. I will comment down everything. So every little detail I'll put there for you. Like colour, bumper part, wheels, tyre smoke if you even want as well. I, I doubt you need that though. 
because that, that tire smoke that, that really doesn't go well with the car. Like, yeah. But that's pretty much all for this video. If you like, I said, if you think of anything for me to create, comment it down below with a photo or, or a link or something like that. And yeah. Alright guys, remember to like, subscribe, comment down below what I'm going to do for future videos and all that. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.